tournament fishing. Oh, oh, Jake, that's a good one. Hey, that, that, that's a good one. It's right off that brush. Oh, look at that one. Oh, that's a tank. That's a thicken. What's going on, YouTube? This is 903 Fishing. Welcome back to another episode, guys. Today, we're gonna to be targeting some post-spawn crappie on brush piles. Now, in a couple recent videos, you've been seeing me target post-spawn crappie under docks. Now, crappie go one or two places post-spawn. They go under docks and they go to shallow brush piles, okay? As you can see, guys, we're in a cove right here. So these crappie have been all along the banks of this cove spawning. And as soon as they go out to deeper water, the first thing that they come upon, the first structure that they come upon is shallow brush. And crappie are gonna use these shallow brush piles to ambush shad and minnows and just to feed because they've been worrying about making babies. Are you serious? Oh, I thought he had one. I thought Jaden had one on the intro, guys. But anyway, we already have a couple in the live well and it's still really early. There is a chance that there could be some crappie still shallow, but we're gonna see how many we can catch today on these shallow brush tops. If you haven't, smash that like button. It really helps out the channel. If you're already subscribed, thank you so much. Y'all know I would not be doing this without you guys. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, we're on the road to 100,000 subscribers on the channel. You do not want to miss this 100,000 subscriber giveaway. It is going to be massive. So smash that subscribe button, come join the family. Let's see if we can get on these post-spawn crappie. Y'all stay tuned. All right, family. Well, let's see what we can do today. First cast on the pile. There he is. Is that a crappie? Oh, ho, 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 Jaden. And I just let it sit there for a second while I was messing with the trolling motor. Hey guys, not a giant, but solid keeper crappie right here. Nothing wrong with that right there. Probably 11, 11 and a half, maybe. Jaden's grandma wants some crappie, so we're gonna turn the live well on and we're gonna see how many we can put in that live well today. There's one on the first cast. Took a second because I had to readjust the trolling motor, but let's go get another one. Now. There's more than one. Oh, there he is. Hey, they're right there, right in front. Oh my gosh. Well, that's a good fish. That's way bigger than the first one. Solid 12, I think. Hey guys, that's a decent fish. Uh-oh, post spawner post spawner baby all right there's two in there all right guys we got two in the well first spot let's keep rolling few on the pile doesn't look to be crazy stacked but few on there looks like oh good gosh okay Oh, buddy, Jade, that's a, okay. Well, you said you usually catch the biggest. What is that? <laughs> that is, that's, that's a good, good fish. We'll take that all day. Look at that, guys. That looks like a, a post-spawn female right there. No eggs for sure with this one. Good fish, guys. Real good fish. There's three in there. All right. Three, baby. Now, guys, right now, I'm just, you know, putting my my hook through that minnow's back or tail. I've had a couple of bluegill take me. Because, I mean, court goes straight under. That bluegill just has that minnow, that tail of that minnow in his mouth. And if you jerk and there ain't nothing there, then that... That is a good sign. This brush pile right here is in about, about 15 feet of water right now. Lake is high, real high. 
They're in that side pocket right there. Just got out here, son. Well, things could change. That's there's another one. There's another one. Keeper too. Nice. All right. Now that time I threaded my minnow on, guys. Not a giant, but solid keeper. We'll take it. Like I said, Jaden's great grandma wants some fish, so that's, that's nice. There's four in the well, baby. Let's keep rolling. Now, guys, we do have another little brush pile marked over there about 30 yards away from us. Once we stop catching fish on this one, or stop just catching fish over here at all, then we're gonna make our way to that other pile, going straight out. You might get bit all the way to where I am, I don't know. Looked like there was fish. There he is. Oh my gosh. Tank. Tank, tank, tank. Look at that, guys. Well, not a tank, but hey, it's a thicken. Jeez. First cast on the new pile, guys. This is the one that I said. This is the one that I said we had marked over here. Came over, threw out, boom. Look, guys, there's the, the one that we was fishing. Came right over here. Nice little 12 incher, 12 and a half. I'll take it. All right. Let's keep going. What's going on, family? Well, we've gotten to our second spot. We pulled off five or six off of the first one. And I checked out a couple of brush piles too on the way here, and they're just deserted. You know, we're, we're targeting 10 to 15 feet of water today for these post spawn crappie. And a lot of these brush piles just do not have fish on them yet. Found another little brush top right here. And it looked like there was, there's a few fish on it. So we're gonna fish it here in one second, but I wanted to go over this setup. Today I'm back rocking with my eight foot ACC Super Grip right here. Got the Viper X 1000 from PC Fun. Be sure to go to PCFun.com, use code 903FISH15. That's gonna save you 15%. And then we have the new ACC Crappie Sticks line. By the time this video comes out, it should be on the market. And if it's not, it's very close to dropping. So be sure to check out ACCCrappieSticks.com. Slip cork setup, guys. I love it. And this is what we're rocking with to catch these crappie today. Jaden is using his seven foot one piece. He loves that rod. Ever since Andy came out with that seven foot one piece, that's the rod that Jaden prefers to use to slip cork with. So let's see if we can find any more post spawn crappie on these brush piles. Y'all stay tuned. You know? Yeah. Giant. The boat is more it wouldn't be right. God, oh. Huh? That's a good one. Not a bad fish. That's a keeper. A little keeper, I think. Let's check him out, guys. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's 11 inches, guys. 11 not too bad in the well baby i think that's seven seven in the well I'll be honest with you guys we're i mean we're not struggling to catch fish we're struggling to find fish wouldn't, wouldn't you agree to that when we find them we catch them yeah 100%. it's not many of these shallow brush piles have had fish on them. So, I don't know. We'll see. There's two off of here. You get knocked? You got it. You get him, boy. Are we doubling right now? We're doubling. Well, dude, you got a good one. I got a small one, I think. Oh, look at there. He's got his tux on. Oh, shoot. Hey, we just doubled up on keeps, dude. Mine's like barely a keeper. Yours is a freaking good one. Look at that. Show the camera. Twin. 
Mm -hmm. Nice. Look. Well, yours, yours is big brother. I got little brother. Let me, uh, let me, let me measure mine first, though. Let me measure. Oh, that's that's eleven and a quarter, eleven and a half. We ain't got to measure yours. Here, go ahead, throw them in there. Twelve, twelve and a half. Throw them in there. Nice. All right, guys. Hey, could be freaking loaded over here. Let's go. Let's go get some more, baby. How deep are you fishing? I went a foot shallow. I caught one, but then I got I, I got hung up on the brush. So I went a foot shallower. So what is that? Four off of here? It's four. There he is. Way over here. Nice. That's a keeper. Not a big one, but it's a keeper. Yeah. I'll take it. Let's go, guys. A little postponed crappie fish, and it's still really early. Like I mentioned in the intro, but we're catching a few. That's 11. Wait, that's almost 12, Jaden. That's almost 12 inches right there. Okay, well, let's keep going. All right, guys, everybody always asks me. There are some blue. Look at there. See, that's bluegill. No, it's not. Oh, yeah, oh I thought yeah. you had him. See, pure example right there. These bluegill are messing with us, so I'm going to thread my minnow on through the mouth, out the gill turn that hook i'm gonna go right at the top of the back that minnow can still move but i'm still popping it back to me still popping it back to me so i'm giving that minnow some life as you would say because they're tournament fishing oh oh Jaden, that's a good one hey that, that that's a good one that's right off that brush oh look at that one Oh, that's a tank. That's a thicken. Right off the brush. Pretty much got hung up in the brush as I set the hook. So that tells me I'm, I'm about right where I need to be, guys. Look at that. That's a good one. No measurement needed type of fish. Look at that. Nice fish. Put that in there. All right, guys, this brush top right here, we've caught about six off of it already. This brush top is in about 13 feet of water. So the two brush tops that we've caught fish off today have been 13 and 15. I really didn't plan on going any deeper than 15 foot today because these crappie are coming from the shallows. So they're gonna run into those shallower brush tops first. Get him on up in here, boy. That's a toad. All right. Well, sorry guys for no hook set. I was broke off my leader. I had to retie one, but Jaden's got a good one. Right there. It's a solid 13 inches. Gotta be. That's, That's a good fish. That's solid. Good one. Uh, I don't know. I got one in there that could compete with that. Oh, weird. You can catch one over there, over here. There he is. There he is. Oh, hey, that's way up. Ooh, another good one. Jayden, double up. Nope. Oh. Hey, uh, I don't know if that's, huh? Maybe a keeper black. Pretty close. I don't know. I don't think that's a keeper. If it is, it's right at 10 y'all it's gonna it's gonna be a tough one right here is it gonna make it no all right let's see what she look oh hey guys 10 and, well oh yeah 10 and a half guys 10 and a half good keeper fish oh like i said we're hey you think you think nana be happy she's gonna be happy with some of these huh That one was way out there, Jaden. Out there? The one I just caught? Yeah. There he is. Ah, it doesn't feel very big. Well, 
Another cookie cutter or what? Yep. That's what it looks like. Yeah. Don't know if he's going to be 10. Possibly. Hey, Jade. 10 and a quarter. Keep her to me. Keep her to me, baby. 10 inches in Texas, guys. And let's get it. If I was keeping fish for myself, I wouldn't keep that 10 and a quarter. But since we're keeping fish for Jaden's grandma, I want to go ahead and try to get her as many keeper fish as possible in the freezer. So that's good. Looks like there's more fish here than we thought, huh? There he is. That's a good one. Oh yeah. Good fish. Good crappie. No measurement needed. No measurement needed on him. Hey, we're getting a little bag now. That's what I'm talking about. Wow, way more fish here than I originally thought. Didn't look like that many fish on the graph. Another one. Hey, that's that same minnow, Jaden. That's an even bigger fish. Ooh, look at that black crappie. Oh yeah, that, that's a, I'm gonna measure it just to show you, but that's a good fish, good black. Man, same minnow, guys. Just threw it back out there. Boom. Next cast. Hey, that's almost 11. Almost. Nice. Postpone crappie fishing, guys. These crappie are hungry. They're going to eat it if you can put it in front of them. And these crappie have been spawning. So they're they're looking to feed. They're looking for bait right now. It's it's some of the some of the best fishing, postpone crappie fishing. So let's go get another one. Oh dang, we're way. That's about right, man. Nothing. I was just kind of look, just looking on where we were at compared to that dock. Dude, that's a good one. That's way over there. Look at that black. <laughs> Wowza. Thick. I like them thick. That's a good one. No measurement needed on this one, guys. We're going to go ahead and put this one in the well. Nice. Okay. Well, hmm. Looks like there is a few more fish out there, guys. Dang, Jaden, that was way. That was way over there. Yeah. Where is that? About right there? Yeah. Give or take. I guess I just need to get it close. Somewhere in there. Oh, get you some, son. Oh, that's keep. That's not no keep. Close. That's close. Okay. I would definitely make. Oh, yeah. Oh, there he is. Oh, oh, you bailed on me here. I thought we were doubling. There's a couple of other brush piles right over here. I just we're just fishing that one. Hold on, maybe we can double up. Take your time. We can't, we can't. Oh, I got a good one. Oh, Jaden, look at that. <laughs> What is it, Jaden? Put him in there. Oh gosh, 11? No. What? Let me, bring the checker here, I can't see. That's 10 and a quarter, man. Here, put that one in there too, here. Hey guys, that's a solid keeper fish. There's a little double up, huh? Well heck, we're gonna caught more than 15 or 16, huh? Oh yeah. Dang. 
You want me to mark this pile over here so we can fish it better? Yeah. Well, if I catch another one, I'll throw I'll throw that other buoy marker over there. Oh my God, Jake, right there. Oh, that's a tank. Well, not a tank, a solid fish. Here, where's that other buoy marker? A little improv improvise right here. That's right there. Here, I'll reposition the boat too. There we go, guys. Another solid keeper fish. Man, we're doing all right today. Done came up. What's going on, family? Well, this second pile had more crappie on it than I thought. I think we pulled out about 10 off of it. And I want to show y'all my new toy. Check this baby out, guys. I have upgraded my console graph from the Helix 7 to the Helix 12. And as you can see right now, we're sitting in 14 foot of water and we targeted brush tops today in that 10 to 15 foot range. Y'all be sure to go out and get these post-spawn crappie. They're hungry, they're ready to eat. I'm sure you could catch them on jigs as well, but got Jaden in the boat. He likes to use minnows. So we went ahead and went with the live minnows today under that slip cork. We ended the day with about 15 or 16 crappie. Not too bad for the early post-spawn bite. You need to find these brush piles on the entries of coves, you know, anywhere between 10 and 15 feet of water. Like I said, these crappie are coming out from the shallows. They're gonna find the first structure that they come to, and that is where they're gonna be for this post-spawn bite. If you like this video, smash that thumbs up button. It really helps out the channel. If you're already subscribed, God bless you. You know, I would not be doing this without you guys. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting. It means the world. Thank y'all so much. If you're not subscribed, you love you some crappie fishing, this is the channel for you. We do just about any types of crappie fishing on the channel, and I can teach you their patterns and different types of techniques where you can catch them year round. Like always, like, comment, and subscribe to 903 Fishing. Y'all have a great day. God bless.